Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Sunday Chit Chat with Chichi Beauty. How are you all doing? I hope you are all having a wonderful Sunday afternoon. I'm checking around on my lighting, which seems to be a little off today. However, one way or the other, this is what we're going to use. Something is hot, but I don't know what it is. How are you all doing? It's Sunday, and I hope you are enjoying your Sunday afternoon or your Monday morning. I can see you all on the chat already. And we're going to be looking at budget friendly facial oils. I know a lot of you tend to complain that I tend to use a lot of oils that are a little on the pricier side. And I'm going to show you that you can actually get oils out there that is going to give you awesome results. Have your skin looking younger and fresher for little and nothing. You got to pay something for it, but it's not going to break the bank. And you're going to be like so amazed and so blown away of the oil that you probably already have in your kitchen and not knowing that it's great for your skin. So welcome to Sunday Chit Chat, budget friendly oils for younger looking skin. Now, if you are joining the chat for the first time, a warm welcome to you. What we do on this chat, we just talk about the topic, we interact with each other. You guys could also interact with yourself on others on the chat. And we just spend a wonderful, you know, between half an hour to an hour, we kind of try to extend it a little these days so we could interact even more with each other. And that's what Sunday Chit Chat is about. If you have a question to ask, feel free to ask. However, remember that a lot of you might be asking questions. So if you do not get your question answered today, then you could get it answered another day, but don't take it personal. Once again, this is a live chat and we have a wide range of age group on the chat. So we asking you kindly to keep it clean and keep it PG friendly. All right. We need, you know, everyone to be able to enjoy the chat. So do not come and, you know, offend anyone with your comments. Now, if you're watching the chat also, there's a little thumbs up at the bottom. Please feel free to use that to let us know that you are enjoying the chat with us today. All right, the first thing we normally do, we normally do some shout out. And if you are new on the chat, feel free to comment and let us know that you're new so that you could get your shout out. Cecile, I see you just now. How are you doing? That is Cecile Lewis. And Cece Lewis is in Jamaica. Um, happy Sunday to all my Jamaican subscribers. As you all know, I'm Jamaican, so don't take it personally if that's the first comment I respond to. It's not intentionally, okay? All right. Um, oh, you are actually new. Welcome, welcome. All right, so we I saw Rita just now. It probably went by. Rita Holmes, that is. How are you doing? Welcome to Sunday Chit Chat, regular on the chat. And let me do a little scroll so I could go back and see some of those that I miss. I normally like to shout out the first person on the chat, which is Essie. Essie is a regular RLC. I think I pronounced your name wrong. I missed the L. So it's L L. Elsie, Elsie, happy Sunday. I'm waiting and I'll be asleep soon. I hope you're still on. Karen McDowell, how are you? Vicky, Vicky, how are you? We have a new person that, oh, well, came okay, my lovely and Malet from Ethiopia. Welcome to Sunday to chat. We have Caroline um, Pertit. Hello, better for you talk show, becoming a very regular on the chat. We have Lucy, regular. We also have a new person, Jackie Massey. No, I think I saw this name before. You probably watched before. Hello, Jill, how are you? So Jill, your comment on one of my videos this week was that someone commented and they were saying there were so many facial masks and scrub and stuff like that. And, you know, it's overwhelming. So my answer to you, Jill, is that you choose a facial mask that appeal to you. And anyone that is on the chat today watching and you're a little confused because there's such a wide variety on this channel, just look at the ingredient. I normally go through the benefits of the ingredient. Know your skin and know what you're looking for. Not everything that I post is for everyone. You might have dry skin. You might have 
um, combination skin, so you're gonna be a little picky. I just put things out there that everyone can be happy. So Jill, just choose one that appeal to you. Better yet, choose one that you have most of the ingredients, if not all of the ingredients. Now, when you try one, if you like it, you can continue to use it and keep adding things, and then you might try another one and so on, but you don't have to be overwhelmed. Choose something that you think is suitable for your skin type, all right? And that is to show that I do read the comments. I don't respond to all, but sometimes I just scroll through as fast as I could go to make sure I cover. Hello, Sharon Henry, how are you? And we also have, um, oh, thanks for that, Lucy. It's autumn, all right? It's autumn. And if you are like in the United States, you probably don't even know the word autumn. You say fall. But when I was growing up, it's autumn. If you're in Europe, it's autumn. All right, so welcome to autumn and welcome to fall, whichever one that you use. Amina Ramli, happy Sunday, everyone. As everyone had a good and safe weekend, love from Sunshine City, St. Martin. And that's somewhere that I like. You guys have a lot of ribs out there. All right, Magdalene, happy Sunday to you. All right, guys, we are talking about oils. So don't go away. We're talking about oils today. And we are going to be selecting regular oil that you can use on your skin, budget-friendly oils that you can use on your skin. The first oil that I'm going to talk about today is one that some of you like and some of you don't like, okay? And I picked that up, you know, after doing this for such a while. It is none other than the coconut oil. Now, don't tell me it's not inexpensive because I do know when I go to my grocery store and I look on the shelf, there's a wide variety of coconut oil on the shelf. Now, there's a wide variety of prices of coconut oil on that shelf. So you can find a coconut oil. Let's say you're in America. I'm just going to use quote American dollars. You can find a coconut oil out there on the shelf, probably about six ounces for like $4.99. However, you can find coconut oil run about the same six ounces for $12.99. That is all about branding. And we're not here to talk about branding today. We're here to talk about budget-friendly oils that is beneficial to the skin. Now, what I want you guys to do when you go out to search for a coconut oil for your skin is not to look at the brand. The brand does not necessarily mean that it is better. Most time you are paying more for a particular brand. So what you need to do, you need to look out for a few words that is gonna make you know that that oil is good for your skin. When you search for a coconut oil, you look for first press or you look for cold press or you look for organic. Organic is gonna step up the game a bit in terms of pricing, but you have different grades and different brands of coconut oil that you can find the same, you can find organic coconut oil for a reasonable price, first press, cold press, it's all press, it's all dependent on the brand. Now, some places where you live, let's say like my wonderful island of Jamaica, the coconut oil is going to be inexpensive. So it's depending on where you live, whether they have to import the coconut oil or whether it is already there. If you produce your own coconut oil, your country produces its own coconut oil, the price is going to be reasonable. If they have to, if your country have to import it from another country, then the oil is going to be on the pricier side, okay? So not to worry. We're going to list a few other oils that is budget friendly. Now, with all these oils that we're talking about today, you do not need to go out and buy all the oils. I'm going to show you how you can just use one that you're comfortable and you're happy with, and you could take that one, you can mix it with other things to create wonderful remedies for your skin, to have your skin looking years younger. Welcome to Sunday Chicha. If you're just joining in, we're talking about budget-friendly oils for your skin. Now, coconut oil I mentioned because, as I said, a lot of you are familiar with coconut oil. Roll back the clock about, I'm going to say about between five to ten years ago. 
That's a wide gap. So let's take it down in the middle. Let's say for the past seven years or so, coconut oil was one of the most sought after oil in the skincare world. I know this is not let's talk skincare with Chichi Beauty, it's not the chit chat, but I just wanted to point that out. And everyone was turning to coconut oil. Little did some of you millenniums and you know don't know that the coconut oil was years ago like 40 years ago was the thing to use on the skin so it's just came back around about the seven year mark and people go crazy for it. But I grew up using it on my skin. Now, why do we use the coconut oil on the skin? The coconut oil has a lot of antioxidants that is great for the skin. It can do a number of things for you overall because it's good for your hair, it's good for your face, it's also good for your feet. If you have those dry feet, just rub it on your foot and you put it in a socks and you are good to go. However, when it comes onto your face, the coconut oil helps to lock that moisture in the skin. And when the moisture is locked in the skin, what happens is that it's going to help to boost the collagen production in the skin. And therefore, your skin is going to look more plumper, more fresher, and more radiant. Now, with this coconut oil, you can use it to remove your makeup. You can use it as a, a night cream. I like to just slather some coconut oil on my face and go to bed towel pot dry it with a paper towel go to bed sleep wake up in the morning rinse it off soft skin no joke if you doubt me try it tonight soft skin really supple skin and that's what the coconut oil could do for you now wait a minute i do know some of you cannot use the coconut oil because you already have oily skin so you are going to be like ah budget friendly but not for my skin hold on tight we're gonna have something for oily skin people and also combination skin and also sensitive skin that is budget friendly if you're on the chat today and you use coconut oil on your skin you have no issue using the coconut oil on your skin feel free to comment depending on where you live you can actually get the coconut oil for a reasonable price without breaking the back now i'm going to spend about two more minutes talking about the coconut oil because what i want to do for you guys is to tell you you need a based oil okay if you're looking for anti-aging oil and you have that coconut oil the only other oil you probably need to mix with that coconut oil to kick it up a notch and to do wonders for your skin is one oil that I suggest most of you try to get in your oil collection and that is vitamin E oil. Vitamin E oil is like a base all rounder oil and when it come on to prices for anti-aging oils in that group, the vitamin E oil is gonna be the cheaper one really and truly because you have a wide variety of brands that make the vitamin e oil and if you don't have the oil itself you can go ahead and get the capsule however please be mindful that when it comes on to vitamin e oil the lower the i u is the cheaper it's gonna be but it is still as good it just means that if the i u is higher you use less if it's lower then you use a little more do not go below 5,000 IU and you could go all the way up to 30,000 IU. 30,000 IU is going to cost you more. If you can only afford the 5,000 IU, go ahead. It's the same vitamin E oil. It's just that the more IU, it's a little thicker. Therefore, it's better to use with carrier oils. All right. Now let's go to the chat and see who on the chat is using coconut oil. Um, Jenner, Jenner Austin. Yeah, my mom make it, so that's what I use. All right, Cecile Lewis, you're absolutely, absolutely beautiful, Chichi. Thank you. We also have, okay, back troll. My mommy gives me, all right, stop that, stop that. I warn you guys. Um, Kava, how are you? Organic, cold pressed coconut oil. That's what we're talking about. Annette, happy Sunday, everyone. Hope that all is well. Um, how are you today, Chichi? I'm doing good, and you're early. <laughs> All right, all right. How I know these things, I don't know. I just know my subscribers, okay? All right, and um, we also have um, Sheila Rogers. I, I am extra dry um, 
post-menopause and extra sensitive skin, please help me. And you're going to get an oil for your skin today, Sheila. So just um, right on there. All right. So we have Carolyn um, Shea. Hello from Canada. Hi. Hello. Hey, Sandra. I haven't seen you for like two weeks. Welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. Yeah, I'm calling my subscribers out. And I can call them out because they are like my diet subscriber they don't mind me calling them out tembi hello chichi and all subscribers happy sunday to you chancelina chia please i need oil for oily skin and we are going to go right there so now guys we know one very inexpensive oil that you can use on your skin and let me see if i miss anything important out about the coconut oil we all know that okay the coconut oil also contain vitamin e which is very important to know in case you cannot afford to buy the coconut oil and the vitamin E so please know that it also have vitamin E and it also have a little bit of a vitamin A so that makes it a wonderful all-rounder oil to use on your skin another budget friendly oil do not knock me for this one okay it is budget friendly depending on where you live yes I know that and some of you is gonna come at me like it's not that cheap no it's not it's olive oil guys olive oil okay i know i know some places it's on the pricier side okay but you can find olive oil out there depending on the brand you can get eight ounces of olive oil somewhere for like say six dollars and you could get eight ounces of olive oil let's say for 12.99 or even 13 dollars depending on the brand if you're gonna go really fancy in brand because we have that when it comes on to food product it's gonna cost you more but you can get the good old olive oil in a little bottle four ounces of olive oil just for your face for probably $2.99. Now, why are you telling us to buy this cheap old olive oil? No, you're going to look for the words just like the coconut oil. The first press, the cold press, and the darker, the better. Most companies don't enhance that color. So look for that. And if you can, also look for the word. I don't even know if I could say this because you should be so sensitive when it comes down to some word. But anyway, first press, cold press, virgin coconut um, olive oil. It is good for your skin, okay? And you are gonna use it just the way you use that coconut oil. If you live, let's say, in Europe, then you know the olive oil price is gonna be like pretty, pretty reasonable for you. If you live somewhere, and I'm beating up on my Jamaica again, it's gonna be pricey. Here in the United States is a range of prices depending on the brand. Here it's all about what brand you buy, okay? Now, if you're living, let's say, in St. Martin, it might be a little pricey for you too. The islands, the Caribbean, the South America, the olive oil is gonna, because we don't grow these things, okay? In Europe, where they grow all these wonderful olive oils, then it's gonna be cheaper. Use the oil that is abundant where you live. Okay, so if you live in Jamaica, not to knock we guys, well, one time, I don't know about now, but when I was growing up, there was a lot of coconut. I doubt you have a lot of coconut oils now. You guys tend to import a lot of things now, but coconut oil could be the best way out because guess what? You probably could go to the country and get some for yourself and just make the oil for yourself. It's as a fresh as it gets okay now if you're living in somewhere like europe you're gonna go for the olive oil because that's what you guys grow over there right if you're living in america um you get a wide variety of things because we import everything here whether we grow it yes or no it's here everything is here all right so olive oil definitely guys that is an all-rounder oil now something special that i want you to know about the olive oil and a lot of you might not aware that olive oil contains the good old vitamin K. And I want to stress a little bit on that vitamin K today. What is this vitamin K? And why do you want to talk about vitamin K today? I want to talk about vitamin K because olive oil is one oil that you can use around the areas of your eyes and it's going to help to get rid of the dark circles around the eyes. It is also great for puffy eyes. Why is that? Vitamin K. Okay, so you understand where I'm going. You can use coconut oil all over your face and take a little olive oil and use it as your eye cream. 
eye oil vitamin k is in olive oil so when you're making any one of your facial oil combination of oils and you're looking for something to clear or oil that is going to help to clear the skin of spots and blemishes and hyperpigmentation a budget-friendly oil that oil is olive oil and the main reason because it contains not all oils contain vitamin k but the olive oil do have vitamin k which is great for dark circles puffy eyes however it is also great for anti-aging purposes to combat the process of aging it also has to boost the collagen production in the skin and best of all it has to lock the moisture in the skin to seal that skin skin to give you a plumper a more firmer and a younger looking skin now there are many ways that you can use olive oil and i will so also suggest in spite of the fact that the olive oil do contain a bit of a vitamin E oil, if you have some vitamin E oil and you want to turn this into your everyday oil, just dip a little vitamin E oil in that olive oil and you are all set. That oil you need, you do not have to go and buy some of the pricier oils that you tend to see even me use on this channel. Now, I'm not telling you guys not to use these other oils. What I'm just doing is to show you how you can still have gorgeous skin on a budget using these awesome oils, okay? All right, we're gonna talk about um, almond oil. If you're on the chat, if you use olive oil, tell me what you use olive oil for, why you use olive oil, and if you are somewhere where your olive oil is reasonable price, feel free to go ahead and speak about it. Lucy, um, Jenny, yes, in California, so expensive, but things can be cheaper because volume of sale. We have a store, and I can call the store Lucy, and import organic and can be found. Okay, great. All right, so I missed someone. Um, Jason Davis, please, is this right to use oil on an oily skin? Yes, Jason. You can actually, and that's Jason David, you can actually use oil on oily skin. You just have to know what oil to use. And the best oil that I normally tell my subscribers to use on oily skin, Jason, is grapeseed oil very very light it will not clog the pores but you will get the job done by the moisturizer by locking in the moisture in the skin a really awesome oil to use and for combination skin also definitely the grapeseed oil is great the second in line to the grapeseed oil is the one i'm going to talk, talk about just now and that is the almond oil it's less lighter than the coconut oil and also the olive oil is right down here in the middle and you can use that on your skin so if you have oily skin out there there are oils out here for you that are much lighter than the olive oil and the coconut oil okay it's all about the pores and it's all about not clogging the pores you need the oil that is not going to clog the pores but going to penetrate deep into the pores and when you apply that oil on your skin when you look on the skin you're not going to see any grease but it's going to feel soft and supple all right rita rita lucy that's right and you talk your name asia I use coconut oil so much my favorite oil and that is good. I stand that. I found you can take that same cocoa butter chunk, swipe it under your eyelid as well, really dragging it over your eyelash, and wow, will will grow. Yes, 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 yes. That is actually good. And also, if you have like you know the under eyes that's a little dry, and someone was asking me about that the other day. The same cocoa butter, you can swipe it, leave it there. Go to sleep with it, rinse it off in the morning, and it's gonna be just fine. Just fine. Um, tensy, tensy, thank you for those thumbs up. And olive oil, the best for skin and ear. Right, 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 right. Hello, Christine Foster, late, better late than never. And um, Maria, M A R I Y A, I like it too. Rose grapeseed. Okay, all right. So, we um, you have someone talking about rose oil and sweet purple girl i am using it as my soap i love it and i miss that Susie lewis i don't use the coconut oil on my skin my eel back is cracked can i use it of course what do you think we grew up using that is like the best oil to use on your feet the coconut oil the reason why it locks moisture in the skin it's no joke when you find that you're 
feet is um is all dry and your ears are cracked you just put some coconut oil on it and that's gonna keep the moisture from escaping it locking it in and within a week and it's no joke try it within a week you're gonna notice a huge difference to your feet it's gonna get softer and look much better if you're just joining we're talking about budget friendly oil that you can use on your skin to help you look younger if you're still watching the chat which you are Give it a thumbs up to let us know you are liking the topic. Shirley Allen, can you mix vitamin E with coconut oil? And I think that question came before I mentioned that that's the perfect thing. You mix vitamin. Listen, guys, if you're watching today, if you have to get one oil, one oil that I put in this special oil category, not the carrier oils now, but the special oil category. And if you have to choose one out of the many oils that I use, the one you need to look for is the vitamin E oil. It's an all-rounder oil. It's an oil that you're going to find in 99.9% .9 of whatever skincare products that you're going to go out there on the market to buy, whether it's a cheap one or whether it's a highly expensive cream serum moisturizer for your skin you're gonna find vitamin e oil in it so that is one oil if you can't get any other oil special oil that's the one you have and with that said it means you can mix that oil with any other oil that you want to use on your skin olive oil coconut oil soybean oil you name it you just mix it and once that vitamin e oil is in it it take it to the next level and it is good to go Give the video a thumbs up if you are liking the chat. Sandra, I use coconut oil with baking soda and exfoliant, and it is wonderful. Now, guys, that coconut oil and baking soda is actually one of the first video that I made on this chat, on this channel. It's not my first video, but it's one of the videos that actually I take my channel from, you know, basic level to a more you know, um, a, a more widely known channel because I was just enjoying my little baking soda and coconut oil and I decided that I'm going to use this to make a video because I normally do, for those of you who don't know, I start out making makeup videos. I normally do beauty videos. I review products and I do makeup and stuff. That's how I started out because your girl loves some makeup, okay? Now, after a while, I like for years and years, as far as I can remember, my passion is skincare. So I was like, why am I doing makeup videos? And my passion is really skincare. But I think I was doing makeup videos because everybody was doing makeup videos. So I decided, well, why not film some of my skincare videos? And I sat down that day and I filmed that video using the baking soda and coconut oil, basically just exfoliating my skin for me. And if you have not watched that video, guys, go on my channel page and the video is there. It's like about 5 million or so um, views, really a wonderful video. And I use the coconut oil and the baking soda and it's the wonders. And a lot of people have used that and most of that, the old tax subscribers, they still tend to go back to that and love that. And I tend to do it. I tend to add other things to it now. I put like parsley leaves and I kick it up a notch and I put a little papaya with it now and just exfoliate my skin. But overall, and no joke, it is my all time favorite um, facial scrub to use on my skin. I just play with it more than just the basic. So if you have not tried it and if you're comfortable using the baking soda on your skin, why not give the coconut oil and the baking soda a try? And if you want a more updated version of it, I also have a second one on the channel that you can, you know, play around with also. All right. Um, Carolyn Ralph, hello from Kent, England. Hello, hello, hello. It's nighttime, 11 o'clock, I think, or 10 o'clock here right now. All right, so we have Miss Newton. I just love you, Gigi. You are so beautiful. Skin is flawless. Thank you so much for that. So we're talking about oils, guys, and I'm trying to, you know, just interact with you a little too. Coconut oil with baking soda, body deodorant. Yes, yes, yes. I have no idea why, Maria, why they put a block on that comment. 
I don't know, but that's <laughs> that's nothing is wrong with your comment. That's why I read it. All right, um, Lucy. Oh yes, I remember. Oh, you had the the sheet on the background with the white light in the background. See what I mean? Regular subscriber, but um, Rosie, I still see her. Okay, all right, Elizabeth, La so so ITG, and to all the subscribers, thanks for sharing. My line is very poor today, but I will watch for the re um, repeat. Love you, okay? And I don't think that is coming from me, and it is 11 p.m. in Belgium. All right, guys, I'm going to talk about the oil that I don't talk about on this channel. And one of the reasons why I'm going to talk about this oil is because most people, have this oil in their kitchen and most of you don't use this oil on your skin for what reason i don't know including myself i tend to just not talk about this oil and this is vegetable oils what do you think vegetable oils is made out of most vegetable oils is made out of like soya bean oil okay now we use it to cook most people like to use it to fry things and all of that but little did we know that it still have vitamin e and it's still good for the skin we just for some maybe because of the budget friendly price right most places you go to that is probably one of the cheapest cooking oil that you're gonna find however we step over it when it comes on to skin care but little did you know that vegetable oil is good for the skin if you don't believe me go and research what is in vegetable oil and also research the vitamins and the minerals that is in your cooking oil that you have in your kitchen right there just walking over because if you don't use olive oil what is it that you use in the kitchen to cook with hardly anybody use grapeseed oil most people are gonna use some form of a vegetable oil or they're gonna use olive oil now guys I use a wide variety of oils because you know I love me some oil okay so I tend to use the grapeseed oil I like to use the grapeseed oil to put in my salad and all of that but I always have some vegetable oil in my kitchen and I'm sure if you have vegetable oil in your kitchen right now guys feel free to come and let me see how many of you out there who have vegetable oil in their kitchen and let me see by commenting how many of you have ever tried vegetable oil on your skin? I'm just curious to see, all right? But if all you have in your kitchen is a vegetable oil, do not be afraid to use it on your skin. It is good for you to fry up your things with, it's good for you to cook up your nice chew and all of that with, so why is it not good for your skin? It has the same properties as the rest of the oil, vegetable base. Uh, how, how more vegan can you get from that uh, vegetarian style, right? So use up your vegetable oil. If you have to make a facial oil, you have nothing. And I came on and I'm doing a video and I'm pulling out my grapeseed oil and I'm like, oh, use the grapeseed oil or I'm pulling out a big bottle of olive oil and you look in your kitchen and you're like, mm, I have none of those oils. All I have is some vegetable oil. Guess what? Use it. It's going to lock the moisture in the skin. It has vitamin E in it. It's going to do basically the same job as the other oils. And it's probably lighter than the coconut oil and even lighter than the olive oil. So it is a wonderful oil to use. So go research it. Don't take my word for it. Research it for yourself. But that's a very, very budget-friendly oil. As budget-friendly as it gets. Now, I also have grapeseed oil on my chart here to talk about as another budget friendly oil now i know you're gonna be like no 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 Gigi, now you're stepping out of bound with that grapeseed oil because it's not budget friendly however it can be budget friendly depending on where you live all right so for some people let's say in europe the grapeseed oil is going to be a more budget friendly than even you know here in america but as I said, you still could find grapeseed oil out there for a reasonable price. For those of you with the oily skin, it's the oil of choice for you. And I just mentioned the vegetable oil that is lighter than the coconut oil. It is lighter than the olive oil. All right, so there it is for you. But if you can get yourself some grapeseed oil, guys, and you have oily skin, I would suggest that you use it even more than you use the coconut oil and the olive oil. Now, the grapeseed oil do contain more vitamin E than the coconut oil and even more than the olive oil, no joke about that. 
but the other oils are just as good but for you guys see you're getting a full dose of vitamin E from the grapeseed oil so if you're gonna afford to buy the grapeseed oil then use it oil skin people everyone can use grapeseed oil right across the board and also for those with sensitive skin it's another oil that is good for your skin the grapeseed oil however I do understand that depending on where you live it could be budget friendly or it could be a pricey one let me go to the chat and see people who are talking about let's see if there's anybody that spoke about the vegetable oil all right um Gina Marita some people said any oil are not good in your face and that is far from the truth and I'm gonna tell you why it's far from the truth most skincare products that you're gonna find out there contain some form of oil most moisturizer contain some form of oil nowadays most oils or most um, skincare products moisturizer contain some form of oil because that is where they tend to get the vitamins from like the vitamin E and the vitamin A and also the vitamin D it most of those came from oils now if you find your wonderful skincare product and you go behind it is going to contain some form of oil so it's far from the truth that oil is not good for your skin all right the trick to using oil on your skin is to make sure your skin is clean you cannot not exfoliate your skin and expect to use oil on a regular it's gonna make your skin seem as if it's not working because your pores are already dirty they're already clogged so you're gonna unplug your skin but their pores wash your face and cleanse your skin so that when you use an oil it don't just sit on the skin but it just penetrate deep into the pores and there you're gonna reap the full benefit of the oil now they do have water based water based serums and lotions and portion out there but they are far few okay you ain't gonna find as many as you would find with oil most serums or lotion based is oil and when you see that white looking stuff coming out what they do they blend that and I cycle like like blend you know you ever make mayonnaise if anybody make homemade mayonnaise and you drop that oil in the blender and you put that egg in there and you whip it up and it come out really nice and fluffy that's how they make these wonderful cream and stuff that you use on your skin and you get a jar and it's nice and fluffy and all of that and you think it's water in there most of the base is oil you don't believe me go research it for yourself as a matter of fact when you get off the chat pick up one of your syrup or one of your moisturizer bottle and take a look and see and come back and tell me that you didn't see oil in, at least it as one of the ingredients so it's a myth that oil is not good for your skin oil is great for the skin but you gotta know how to use it you definitely have to wash your face and now if you follow skincare trend oil is taking over the skincare world more than anything else nowadays you can find a wide variety of oils because people are turning to oils things that you never ever think that you could get oil from i know it's not let's talk skincare guys but i'm just going okay <laughs> things that you could never get oil from pomegranate no of oil papaya seeds no of oil you, i mean you could i could just go on and on of all the things that normally there's no oil now they're taking the oil because they're looking for that vitamin e and that vitamin a and they're making the oil so you can use it on your skin people are living longer people are looking younger and people are now researching and finding that the good old oil is the way to go all right so as i said and tell anybody i said it's the mint you need oil on your skin because oil has been used for year generation generation centuries and centuries on the skin all right all right um Let's see, um, Simon Bascombi, I think, A. Eh? Um, what's the best oil for dry skin, please? All right, now the best oil for dry skin, and I'm not gonna pinpoint any oil, I'm gonna tell you that the heavier oils are normally the best oils for dry skin. Heavier oil meaning that they're thicker, like the coconut oil and the olive oil, 
those are thicker oil and they are good for dry skin. The lighter oils like the grapeseed oil and the almond oil is good for oily skin. All right, so whatever you're making, whenever you're looking for oils, then turn to the heavier oils for dry skin. I also know it could get even more technical than this, which would be another show because then we'd have to go into climate and depending on where you live and all of that good stuff. So we're just touching the surface, okay? We're just talking about stuff the surface, all right? But definitely for dry skin, search for heavier oils and for oily skin, you look for the lighter oils. Everybody can uh, combination skin, you could patch and treat the skin and you are good to go. So we talk about more than five. I did coconut oil, olive oil, almond oil, vitamin E, grapeseed oil, and I did vegetable oils. Now guys, guess what? Here it comes. Those are budget friendly oils. Now we're going to talk about oils that I consider to be special oils. And the oils that I'm going to talk about today, apart from the vitamin E, I suggest that if you're searching for an oil to use on the skin, you can choose to buy or, or get or borrow or beg one of the special oil. You only need one. On my channel, I use a wide variety, and that is because this is what we do on the channel, and I'm catering for worldwide, all right? Now, let's say you live in Spain, in Morocco, or somewhere like that. You have the organ oil in abundance. For you, that is like a cheap oil. No joke. For me, that is like an expensive oil, okay? So you understand where I'm going with this. Now, in my little collection of oils, the Hargan oil is going to be one of my special oil because it's good for the skin. It's an anti-aging oil that is good for your hair, your nails, your body, just everywhere on you. And it's also very effective in slowing down the aging process and getting rid of the wrinkles and the fine line. If you live where you could get it in abundance, then it's going to be a cheap oil for you. But it is Consider a special oil regardless of where you are. If you have to get one oil, one special oil, choose one that you think is best for you. I'm going to list a few. The next oil, one of my favorite is the rose oil. And what is this rose oil? It's a special oil. And it's special because it's going to cost more than, you know, the olive oil and the, you know, the, the basic oil that I just mentioned. If you have to get one anti-aging oil then the rose oil is another good choice now i don't know anywhere where that is in abundance it's a special oil the process and all of that you know take a while the rose oil is not from the rose petal but it's from the rose seeds that after the petal fall off and that little bud however it's not only from any rose it's like um, a special kind of rose. It's somewhere out in the Amazon, I think. Somewhere Amazon far away. <laughs> so they have these roses. And when the petals fall off, that little bulb contains the, uh, the seeds. And that's what makes the rose oil wonderful. Totally different from rose water, guys. Rose water is made from the, the petal, okay? This rose oil is made from the rosa seed special roses and that is one oil i love like really really love because i see the wonder and i put that in the category of special oil now this rose oil is special because you can mix it with any other oils i just mentioned whether it is the coconut oil whether it's the grapeseed oil whether it's the almond oil whether it is the good old coconut oil now you can mix it with that or you can use it standalone so pick your choice you don't have to use all the special oils that i have on here today now i'm going to bring up another oil and that is the squalene oil now this squalene oil is made from the seeds of the olive so if you are in europe you're probably going to get this rose this squalene oil a little cheaper than let's say america where we have to import it so it might be a budget friendly oil for you but depending on, let's say you're in like Jamaica, you know, um, probably England or so, then it might be on the pricier side and it's special oil because it's a good anti-aging oil. All right. So if you can get one of those, get one. Just choose one. One of the special oil can go with any other budget friendly oil. Vitamin E is a must. 
and any budget friendly oil and then one special oil that's all you need but should you come here and use all these different oil substitute and i don't have to say it every day just know once you watch my show my channel you're gonna learn that when i come on the show and i take out six different oils you're gonna just look ah, i'm just gonna use what i have i just need the basic i need the carrier oil i need the the special oil and i need some vitamin oil and that's it and you're good to go if you have that you can make almost anything that i make on this channel that's all you don't have to use the same oil when you get tired of one special oil you change it to another i also have a new oil guys if you're on the chat and you use this oil before or if you know about this oil feel free to comment this pumpkin seed oil guys that's a good one for you guys research this pumpkin seed oil and come back and tell me what you learn about it next week because it is the thing to use now also along with any of these special oil now the process of the pumpkin seed oil well you already know it's going to be from the pumpkin seed and you know they're going to do the whole process of oil making take the kernel out where you have the whole fat and you know do the process and get the pumpkin seed oil but people eat pumpkin seed for a lot of health benefit and now they're using the pumpkin seed to use on their skin if you use the pumpkin seed if you have seen it around feel free to come in but it is also going in the special oil category all right all right i order m oil and m oil is also good and for m oil i also place that in the special oil category all right guys so if you're just joining we're talking about budget friendly oils we actually spoke about five or more different kinds of budget friendly oil the shocker the one that most people was not aware of i'm assuming is the vegetable oil but we talk about coconut oil we talk about olive oil we also talk about grapeseed oil we talk about almond oil which is the sweet almond oil that is and there's more than one kind of almond oil you have bitter almond oil and i don't want to get into that now because that's this is not let's talk skincare but always go for the sweet almond oil and when you get the sweet almond oil and you notice that it don't have this eye almond fragrance like when you buy the lotion and it have that eye smell that is because that oil strong fragrance is not from really the almond oil it is good for your skin it's from the bitter and the enhance it so it could have that fragrance anyway long story we'll talk about that on another show dabaya good I just saw a comment and up to get Jackie Mom. Hello, Chichi. Happy Sunday. It's always good to see you and welcome, welcome. Cindy the Sousa. I use baking soda and sesame seed oil under my eyes, and it is. Mm, 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 mm. Now, guys, most of you might not have seen this chat that I have, which is Let's Talk Skincare, where we talk about sesame seed oil and we just really talk about it. If you don't know, it contains a lot of vitamin A. It's one oil that is good for your under eyes. And thank you for reminding me to talk about a little about that. And for some people, it's also a budget-friendly oil. Now, the reason why most people shy away from the sesame seed oil is because of the fragrance from the sesame seed oil. Now, guess what, guys? Here it comes. The fragrance, that smell that goes along with the sesame seed, like if you smell Chinese food, guess what? That is because they actually roast the sesame seed. So if you're looking for sesame seed to use oil to use on your skin, you are gonna omit the word roast, okay? So you're gonna look for sesame seed oil out there. You're gonna look for the same words, first press, cold press, okay? And the word virgin and those oils, with those words are the better oil, including the sesame seed. And if you get one of those sesame seed, first press, cold press, virgin sesame seed oil, it's not going to carry that smell. As a matter of fact, you smell nothing. Okay? When you get the sesame seed that is eye fragrant, that's roasted. That damaged already all of the wonderful vitamin A property. Not that for your skin. And you're going to be shocked like, oh, I never see that before. Start to look around and it's right there in your eyes. It's just that you tend to overlook it because you weren't aware of it. All right, so definitely, and I'm using a lot of blend up, blend up, mix up, mix up with the sesame seed oil these days because it's really good. If you use it, 
um, like the comment I just spoke about, just comment and let me know. If you try it and we have some recipes on this channel, you can go ahead and you could go look. You can also go and watch Let's Talk Skincare with Chichi Beauty. One of the show actually focused on the sesame seed oil. You could learn a lot from that show, okay? Patricia Iris, how are you? What can I do to lift my cheeks? I um, And what can I use to smooth out my under eyes and crow feet, please? To lift your cheeks, you're going to do just what I do. And what I do, a lot of people are like, oh, oh, those are natural. But I work on them, okay? Um, I work on my cheekbones a lot since you all like to talk about them. What I do, I just do this like I'm showing here. And I scoop it up, I grab it right here, and I just lift. And I will do like 10 or 15 of these daily. Carry it all the way up to the temple right here. And I will just keep doing it. And you could just sit and watch TV do it. And just trust me. Just do that and practice to do it two to three times a week. And you're going to see amazing results. For those of you with your deep parentheses, that is one that you do too. And if you practice to do this, I guarantee you after a month, you're going to look younger. You clean your face, use some wonderful facial, and just even if you do nothing else on your face, whenever you are applying your serum or your moisturizer, just take the time, an extra minute or two, to just lift right here. Grab the parentheses and pull it back and hold it for a couple of seconds and keep repeating it. That is like a natural face lift at home. No joke, all natural, very budget friendly, very cheap. All it takes from you is a couple of minutes of your day. All right, guys, so we reached the 50 minutes mark, and it's all about you now. I hope you learned something. So now it's question and answer time. So go ahead and ask as many questions as you want. Also, I'm looking up at the thumbs up. If you thumbs up the video, it really helps the channel, guys. It lets us know that you're enjoying Sunday Chit Chat and you know you enjoy the topic so let's get this up to at least 100 thumbs up to let us know that we can continue with the show all right so you're still watching it's right below the video a lot of people don't know where to find it but it's right below the video and there's a little thing like this all you have to do is take your mouse or depending on what you're watching your ipad or your phone most people watch on their phone so just take your finger and just click at that and you will thumbs up the video up all right it's question and answer time right now all right so we have um dibaya d-i-b-a-y-a -A. chichi i mixed the oil last time and i saw on your channel and i add potato juice on it please do tell me if it's okay of course it's okay the potato juice is going to help to clear your skin of spots and blemishes if you're doing this for your under eyes it's also going to help to get rid of the dark under eye circle depending on what you are using it for and it's definitely okay once you put the potato juice in however you're going to use it up within seven days and you're going to keep it in your refrigerator all right um okay so maria is too late for me but i'll try my best no nope, it's never too late it's never too late if you do it on a regular just do it just do it i'll come back in a month as a matter of fact take a picture send it to me and in a month time just do it and take another picture and you're and i'll show it here guys if you use my homemade remedies and you are kind enough to do some before and after pictures i am so you know would be so delighted to show it on the channel so send me an email a before and an after picture just take a picture probably another month or so you take another one and you send it for me i'll show it on the channel to let people see that these remedies do work and not only for me but for you guys watching hi rita i see a big difference all right hello milleries i know i don't call um m-l-i-r-c I just said Millie Reese. I just run with your name. So every time I come on, I'm like, oh, Millie Reese. It just sounds really nice to me. I might be messing it up, but that's how I pronounce your name. And you are like one of what I said, my true subscriber, my true subscriber. That's why I'm always calling you out. Never have I gone on my channel chat where I see all the comments and you're not here. You're always, always. Hello, Loretta Grace. How are you? Welcome, Miss Late Bird, better late than never. Here we have someone, first time seeing this person. Ifra, I-F-R-A-H, um, Abdi Oz, I've got to get this right. 
Adios, man. Adios, man. I love your show. I learn a lot. The papaya and oil mix up for night. Do you need to refrigerate? Yes, yes, yes. You need to refrigerate. Okay? Now, the only one that I would say don't refrigerate is the one that I make with the papaya seeds where I take that little portion out. But refrigerate is best. It's always going to last you longer. All right. Um, we also have K. I did straight away. All right. All right. So we have, I'm taking um, questions, guys. So go ahead and shoot your question right now. Chichi, I'm currently wearing the Vaseline and turmeric mask. It's awesome. That's another mask that when you use that on your face. And if you don't want to use the Vaseline with the turmeric, some people don't like the Vaseline, go ahead and use it with some shea butter and just put it on your face and leave it on a couple minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. If you have the time, rinse it off. Your face is going to feel really soft really smooth and really hydrated and that's a no joke try it for yourself and come back and comment be mindful though that the the turmeric um might be it might stay in your fingers so be careful with that all right so we have i just saw a comment i want to read it just went by lisa um is lard butter or ghee good for the skin now for some of you you are not sure what lard really is okay l-a-r-t and a lot of people use lard when i was growing up it's all frying i think they still use it for frying it do get a bad rap and the reason why it gets a really bad rap and a lot of people were staying away from using lard is because it's cholesterol lard is actually from pork fat okay yes it is yes it is it is from pork fat so if you want to put pork fat on your face then go ahead and use some lard. However, I put butter on my face already, and butter is from milk. But milk is good for the skin. I personally don't use lard. I would say that I would try it, but it's animal fat, so that's what lard is. And you could try. I mean, you eat it. Some people eat it, so. But I would stay away from the lard, okay? I really would stay away from it. If it was made from milk, like butter, definitely. But the fact that it's made from mostly pork fat, I don't know if they make lard from cow fat too, but I know most of that is from pork fat, so I stay away from it. But if you are all game and you feel like you want to give it a try, give it a try and come back and let me know what happened. First, Trisha Irish, what can I do for my eyes? Well, for your eyes, you are going to moisturize it, all right? A lot of people don't know this. You gotta exfoliate your other eyes. Okay? You gotta take a wash rock, preferably, and you gotta do a little thing like this. Slow, 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 slow. Slowly, nothing rough, and exfoliate your under eyes. And then you're gonna use a lot of wonderful. If you have to use any oil on the other eyes, use some olive oil. Now, if you're gonna take it from the special, you know, special oils, then you're gonna mix some rose oil with some vitamin. Oil. You can also choose to use some olive oil with a little bit of the vitamin E oil for your under eyes. If not, and you want to take it to the next level, you want to really go all out, try one of my parsley remedy. That one you're going to make. You can do some parsley with some cucumber, with some potato juice. You're going to juice it, make the water, keep your hot pot in, put it over your eyes, sit back 30 minutes, relax with it, then you rinse off and use a little touch of oil under your eyes two to three times a week and you are good to go, no joke. And I don't even want to go back to talk about how much I use these things on my dark on the eyes that really take my other eyes from next level. Go watch an old video with me like two years ago and go watch one with me right now without makeup and you'll see what I'm talking about. And those are what I use for my under eyes. Really and true, no joke. All right. Um, and yes, I do have a Facebook page, guys. And now we're making the Facebook page back a little active. So you can go over on my Facebook page and like it. Still the name, Chichi Beauty. Just go follow and like that Facebook page. All right. And we also have the time is up, guys. My time is up. I still need to get two more thumbs up. Um, 121 watching. Thumbs the video up to take it to 100 to really help the channel out and also this particular show. I could stop the show if I'm not getting the support. However, I feel like I'm getting enough support. You guys watch what these people just do. Thumbs the video. Lorna, Lorna Tupula, Tupula, T U P U O 
LA. And I do love your show. I'm 50. Want to know what kind of oil for facial? Hawaii. You're in the sun. You need, um, it still depends on your skin. So I'm going to tell you, because it's warm, try to go for lighter oil, like the grapeseed oil and the almond oil. And if you're going to do any other special oil, definitely some vitamin E oil, some rosehip oil. And if you have the fancy oil, like the cocaine oil and the squalene oil, just one, two drops. But for budget-friendly oil, I would say you go for the grapeseed oil. This is warm there most of the time. So you need an oil that is not going to sit on your skin. You need an oil that is not greasy okay all right and let me see jalisa robinson happy sunday and we have k okay, how to exfoliate skin the best way and oil for wrinkles thank you to exfoliate your skin the best way is to make sure that you have an exfoliator with fine granules and apply it in circular motion just a slowly circular motion that's the best way so you're taking it like this that is going to pull all that grease and dead skin cell out. When it comes onto the forehead, you do the same thing. Circular motion. Always, for most exfoliator, avoid this little area right here. Avoid around the areas of the eye. But everywhere, circular motion. For your lips, circular motion. That is the best way to apply to exfoliate your skin. And oil for wrinkle, early wrinkle, vitamin E. And I would suggest you get some rosehip oil. It's got the vitamin A in it, which is good to start. When you are starting to see the first sign of age and first sign of wrinkle, the word, the vitamin you need to look for is vitamin A. Any oil with vitamin A, that is. I'm just saying rosehip oil because I'm biased. I just love me some rosehip oil. I love the cocaine oil too. But the sesame A oil, just look for sesame seed oil and check it out. The vitamin A and it's good too. But remember, don't get the roasted one. You're going to get the pure sesame seed oil. All right? All right. And we also have Nazi. Hi, how are you? Um, oh, can I exfoliate, use mask, and use your wash regime in a day? If you're going somewhere special, if you're going out somewhere special and you haven't been taking care of your skin, like for weeks you do nothing, and you have to go somewhere you want to look radiant, yes, you can exfoliate your skin and use a facial mask on the same day. However, if you do these things on a regular, then don't, 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 don't. You do two to three times a week, and then you do the mask two to three times a week. But for a good full facial, yes, yes, yes. Just use an exfoliator that is not going to irritate your skin. You just exfoliate your skin in circular motion. For beginners, like you haven't been doing anything, yes. To begin the first day, yes. Go ahead, exfoliate your skin, pat dry, and just put some nice facial mask on. Sit back, 30 minutes, rinse off, and you're good to go. All right? All right. Blue head, how old are you? Your skin looks really young. How old am I? Just look at it like this. I, I know you're asking because you're new, and a lot of people in the chat already know how oh, old oh, I am, but it is off the calendar. Believe it or not, it's way off the calendar, all right? And I probably could be a brownie. I don't know. But yeah, I'm really right in my half a century, all right? All right, guys. Okay, uh, guys, give the give give a thumbs up to this wonderful woman. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, my time is up. I promise I've been getting a lot of requests to take this chat to one hour. I did it. I did it. I did it. Let me know if you like the new. I know that the time more people get a chance to see it. That's what a lot of people is like. That time slot was too short. However, I normally, and if I'm doing an hour, I'm going to take the last 15 minutes to chat, 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 and answer questions. My hour is up. I love you guys. I posted a video this morning on stretch marks. Now, if you watch the chat today, you will know that not all the oils in that video you need to use for your stretch marks. You can take the vitamin E oil and mix it with any of those oils that I mentioned. If you have stretch mark and you're trying to lighten it or get rid of it, go watch that video. If you don't have stretch marks and you're looking to have your body, your skin just smooth and nice, go and watch the video. If you just want to support the channel, just go and watch the video. All right. Now join me every Friday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Let's Talk Skincare with Chichi Beauty, where we go more deeper into products, invention, 
you know, the vitamins, the minerals, the new stuff, the old stuff. Really wonderful show on a Friday at 1 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys. Have a great week, guys. Try something new and come back next week. Tell me what to try. Send your before and after pictures to Chitty Beauty at gmail.com. All right. See you soon and have a good week. Bye bye. Thank you all for watching. All right. Bye bye. Ta-ta, ta-ta, bye-bye. So guess what, guys? I am here and I am like looking for click and end and I can't find it. So that is why I'm still talking. So I'm going to open this up. Okay, here it is. End stream. See, when I get into talking to you guys, I totally can't find where to end the stream. I love you all, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.